911, what is your emergency? My dishwasher is on fire. Your what's on fire? Dishwasher. Do you actually see flames? Yes. A fire this week in Munson Township remains under investigation. The homeowner called 911 and clearly states her dishwasher is on fire. This video is courtesy of the Geauga County Maple Leaf. When fire crews arrived, heavy smoke was pouring out from the house. Kitchen fires are common, but the fires we're investigating are not coming from your stove. A three-month Five on Your Side investigation found consumers across the nation who say their dishwasher didn't clean their dishes, it damaged their kitchen. On Your Side, consumer advocate Jen Strathman shows you how to keep your family safe. Well, here's a question for you. How often do you load your dishwasher right before bed and then turn it on? Or even worse, when you're leaving the house? What our investigation uncovered may spark you to change your habits, as consumers who've had problems with this dishwasher are demanding action. In the hours before their Thanksgiving meal, it was firefighters, not family, who arrived at the Logan family home. She saw the smoke coming out of the kitchen along with the... Flames. flames that charred the Logan's kitchen and filled their Kansas home with smoke. The blackened pieces that remain leave little doubt in their minds as to where the fire started. No question it came from the dishwasher. And the Logans are not alone in their kitchen close call. The flame shooting out of the side of it looked uh, similar to what you would see from a, a benzene torch. This dishwasher went from working perfectly fine to a fire and it blistered the ends of all my fingers. Just, it was that hot. It was that hot. Fire investigation reports we obtain don't zero in on a cause, but they do show a potential problem, with homeowners and some investigators blaming dishwasher fires for this damage and even a death at this Oregon home. It's an issue that spans the nation from Florida to Arizona, Michigan to Colorado. Our Five on Your Side investigation found fires in dishwashers in almost every state, including Ohio. There were some flames coming out over here. Worried for her children's safety, Kirsten Creation of Lakewood grabbed the kids. Her husband grabbed the fire extinguisher and quickly put out the flames. We thought we just, you know, had some bad luck and it was sort of a one in a million situation. But the federal government knows about these reported situations. Between March and November of 2011, more than 260 complaints related to dishwasher incidents were logged with saferproducts.gov. It's a public website run by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Of those, more than half reported smoke or flames. Because it's so close to the gas line for the gas stove, um, that was really scary to us, just thinking of the what ifs. While a few hundred potential disasters were made public in that online forum, our investigation uncovered that the CPSC knows of more than 1,600 reported problems with dishwashers in the last five years. Those complaints simply are not shared with the public unless you ask to see them. In 80% of those cases, consumers reported a fire. A representative came out to the home, interviewed me for a couple of hours, asking me lots of questions. We have questions too about what brands are mentioned in those cases. The CPSC will not tell us until it gets permission from the companies involved. We've been waiting for six weeks, and while the government is not pointing fingers at any brand, consumers are. They're posting on blogs like KitchenAidFire.com. My own view is that this is a dangerous issue, a, a serious safety and health concern. That's why attorney Charles Fax has filed suit against Whirlpool. It's a Michigan company which makes KitchenAid, Kenmore, and Maytag brands at this plant in Findlay, Ohio. Fax represents 11 people who say they've had serious damage from fires in dishwashers made by Whirlpool. The company has until February 15th to respond to the lawsuit. Dux's clients not only want compensation, they want a recall because of what they consider a product flaw. This design defect in the control unit causes the wires inside to overheat and eventually burn. A defect consumers believe exists in Whirlpool machines, which account for about half of the dishwasher complaints on saferproducts.gov. But consumers have reported fire and smoke in other brands too, including Frigidaire. While that company does not have as many complaints as Whirlpool, fire investigators believe a fire in or near a Frigidaire dishwasher killed an elderly woman in Oregon. Consumers have also complained on saferproducts.gov about Bosch and GE in smaller numbers. Nothing left of the door. GE is the brand that Ken Logan says caught fire in his house. You've got water, how can it catch on fire? It did. It's the same question Kirsten is asking. 
Without any answers, consumers are simply changing their habits. Now we never run the dishwasher when we're either leaving the house or going to sleep. The Consumer Product Safety Commission declined our request for an interview, but says it's investigating. So here's what you could do tonight to protect your family. Grab a fire extinguisher. So many people told us this stopped the spread of the flames. Also, find out where your circuit breaker is located. That can help you stop the flow of electricity in the event of an emergency with your dishwasher. Now, the companies all say their products are built with state-of-the-art safety features, including Whirlpool, who says it builds its dishwashers with a component that will turn off the power in the unlikely event the control board overheats. Now, GE says product safety is a fundamental commitment. All GE dishwashers meet third-party industry safety requirements. Now, go to Newsnet 5 tonight, newsnet5.com tonight. We have an interactive site where you can see the full company statements. You can even search the complaints by state, their city, or brand. Now, these are unverified complaints to the government. Or you can see if your dishwasher was on an earlier recall list. And if you've had a problem, let me know about it. On your side, Jen Strathman, News Channel 5.